kill it at zero, you know. Fiber optic. I would kill the fiber optic. We, there's, a, there's a good chance we might get able to get fiber optics out here. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. My dad was something saying something about it, so. IGN just tweeted an article about a video for every romance scene in Witcher 3. Every romance scene? Oh, the serendipity. Alright, we're gonna pick up a ton of quests here. Vineyard owner. Master Richard, Thanks, Ajian. What luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was This guy looks like a Swator NPC. The time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Sounds like a trap. Head over there first chance I get. Sounds like a trap. Paper chase. Stop by that bank. All right, I want to do this just because it sounds really interesting and like it might lead to something completely unique. Anything in here interesting? You think it would? It's an area that's kind of broken off. Dial-up is legit, dude. I haven't talked to anyone who has had dial-up for like maybe since I dropped dial-up because I was like one of the last people I knew that dropped dial-up. I mean, yeah, it still exists, but like unless you live on a farm. There's no reason for you to have dial-up. <laughs> How long does it take you to upload an average length YouTube video? Um, a 20 minute video at 1080p takes me about 40 minutes to upload. 30 minute video takes me about an hour to do. So I guess you can figure every 10 minutes. Nice tune. Geralt actually comments on the tune. Geralt is so cool. Look at this, this is cool. Look at the atmosphere of this place. This is insane. I'm walking through like a little like Town Square restaurant right now. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. That's at 1080p. If I do it at 60 FPS, it's always gonna be twice as long. Sometimes three times as long. It's It takes forever. So, like, a Battleborn video, like, 40-50 minutes long at 60 FPS, 1080p, takes me, like, three to four or five hours to upload. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, not the fastest upload time. A lot of games on Steam, like a game like The Witcher 3 would probably take me like maybe 2-3 hours to download. Um, which isn't terrible, but it's definitely not the best internet. We did upgrade it a while ago, but that's only because that was the first chance we had to upgrade it. And a lot of it also has to do with our router. This expansion's fantastic if you're a book nerd. Because The Witcher books themselves, there are so many references to them in this. I am very sure I've missed them all. This place is amazing. Look at the architecture. All the buildings are so colorful. Let's read. Find a bank. Making that bank. This is this has got to be a trap or something. Something interesting is going to happen. Back during the day. It is the day. I guess they're not open yet. When when do they open? Uh, hours of eight in the morning and ten in the evening. Okay, wait. Except during what? Except during what? Hold on. Breaks for meals and apparifs. Okay. So they open at 8. I got an hour to kill. How long? Uh, fire robbers around 50, 50. Don't listen to these scammy, I mean, messengers. <laughs> That's what I thought was suspicious about the guy who said he did a fake, Geralt did a favor for him years past. Even though his name was literally Vineyard Owner, you know? Uh, who's this? Philbert Von Witten, alias, alias Four Fingers. Girl on Two Fingers. Never have you seen such a tournament. There's a Gwent tournament in town. I don't even know what kind of Gwent cards I have. I need to check. Oh, see, look. It's giving me all the tutorials. Oh, boy. New Gwent music. What kind of deck do I have here? Do I have a full deck? Please tell me I do. I kinda don't. Scorch. Oh, my cards suck. I mean, there's some decent cards in here, but... Compared to the deck that I had at the be end of the game... Yeah, not fantastic. 
Um, yeah, let's just dump everything in, I guess. That is worth dumping in, you know? Which, most of these are not worth dumping in. That's not a legal deck, is it? I don't even know what a legal deck qualifies as. Oh, see, Northern Realms is probably the only full deck we have. I know, I'm just looking it up. <laughs> yeah, that's not even a legal deck right there. If I had my IRL Gwent deck... Yeah, they had a Gwent deck for this expansion, but yeah. Assassin's Creed does buildings? Dude, you can! I've seen people do it on YouTube and stuff. I mean, they've done it in Novigrad, which is the one major city in the game, but... This is the next major city, I guess, so... We can try. See, look, it's very possible. Look over here. Come on. Ooh, I could make that. I could try make try making that. Here, let's try it. There we go. Look, here we go. I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. All right. How far do we want to go, though? Just look at this crazy view. This game is insane. This game is insane in the membrane. Hold it all. Pull out my sword, lunge down. Nah, this ain't Shadow Mordor. This ain't Dark Souls. I'm just gonna run into every building. Eventually, I'll find something interesting. Is the bank open yet? You know what? Fuck it. I hate. I hate waiting. Just kidding. I'm. I'm. I'm a fan of waiting. Not a fan of waiting. No one's a fan of waiting. All right, here we go. Wait an hour. Something a little more high hung in the sky. We're gonna walk into the bank now. The bank just opened. Cool. Talk to the bank clerk about your account. Always. <clears throat> right. Window 2. I think I like the guy at Window 2, but I guess I can only talk about the guy here. I mean, woman, whatever. Welcome to Gianfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? What a humble body servant. Servant. Employee. And by humble, I meant humble. I don't want my body. Body's just a colloquial. Ism, I guess you'd account. Uh, I'd like to withdraw some coin. Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. You know what's gonna happen? I bet it's like... It's either fake money, or it's stolen money, or it's, it's extorted money or something. And like... You'll have to- you'll be framed for it or something. A cat. It's a cool cat. No buffering in a while. I think it's fixed, I hope. Don't jinx it! You gotta jinx it. Follow the cat. I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit 838. For more information, please go to window number one. You know what? This is all a ruse. All right. Where's window number one? I am being set up for something. I am being set up for something. Hmm. Hello. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if we're our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> She's in the mood. Permit A38, need a copy. I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of Permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. Huh? Can you tell me where I can do it then? Happen to know where I can do it then? Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps upstairs? In records? Or downstairs in the archive? You must ask them, sir. Do just that. Oh my gosh. There's a catch. Catch 22. <laughs> Book references. I have already picked out. There's been two really prominent references in the example. There's a point where girl is like diving underwater. And uh, what? He, run, he picks up a ribbon that says DLC on it. And he says... Uh, Clearly an expensive what accessory. Or something. Clearly an expensive accessory. And then, uh... 
The other one was, you're talking to children, and they say, Will you tell us of Riddick and the dragons? Safe deposit boxes. Let me look at this. Times your tough coins right. Uh, bank. Uh, put your trust in safe deposit boxes. Okay. Let us go. Does this lead upstairs? Locked. Let's go downstairs then. Uh, from the sounds of things right now, it seems like the stream is really far behind. Maybe that's why the buffering stopped. Because it seems like, uh... What is it? Archive. It sounds like my stream buffered to the point where it was behind enough in order to stream. I already yes. got that one. You have a concern? Yes, I have. Rules and stipulations of banking. Granting a loan. In order for a loan to be granted, the submission of certificate B43 is absolutely necessary. Um, form F213. C and certificate X. Banking procedures. Interesting. I feel like that's important. This guy's going to tell me to go somewhere else. You watch. What is it? Folk are hard at work here. Need per permit A38. I need permit A38. Any chance you could issue me a copy? Fiddlesticks. I've just run out. Wait, really? Of course not. In truth, I've never had anything of the sort. This is the archive. Any chance we can make a deal? Listen, say I made a small donation to a certain member of the bank staff. Oh my gosh. A bribe, sir? How dare you? I truly cannot help. This is the archive. Farewell. That'll be all. Thanks. Yes, yes, it's what they always say. And once you're upstairs, do tell them not to send every lost fool with a problem to me. I've work to do. Something Damn is bureaucracy. really fishy. <laughs> Damn bureaucracy. Damn federal Nilfgaardian government regulating the the banks and the and the A38 whatever unless this is like an error and this is a reference or something a lot of stuff in Witcher is either like it's either purposeful or it's referential what can I do for you? so I think that I, I feel like there was an error error 37 thing at one point can I go upstairs now no I have to go across the hall yeah that's the thing a few weeks ago my friend and I our computer was about to upgrade to Windows 10 I came in just in the middle of it. Here's what I did to stop it. I literally held down the power button, which you you should never do, especially in an instance where up Windows is updating. And as soon as I turned it back on, it said it was reverting to an older version of Windows. So I took a risk. I was like, all right, I think this is going to work, even though I had no prior evidence. It was really just a dumb whim. And it worked. So you know what? Maybe the same thing will work for you. I don't know. It depends if you're working on anything. I did lose a lot of progress in my screenplay that Sorry, night, though. I was writing my screenplay, and I lost a lot of progress. What is this? Back of the queue, sir. Okay. Back of the queue. You know what? F that. I'm going right in. Welcome to Chanfinelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always right. How might I help you? I need a document. Permit A38. This where I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand me your form 202, please. I swear, if this is like a reference to like... Error codes and stuff. Like Air 38, Air 202. I feel like it is. What are you trying to pull? Form 202? Just what are you trying to pull? Sir, I'm not pulling anything. Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202, as stated specifically in Ordinance N60. Please, go to window number one. <sighs> Just came from there. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. Return to one window one and get form 202. What is this quest? Oh, these people are gonna be really mad at me because I cut in line. You cut in front of yeah. me, sir. 
Carol, just kick his ass. What do you do about it? <laughs> well, couldn't really give a crap. You bore, you chur. You bore. I will not stand for this. Just you wait, I'll teach you some menace. Go on, hit me. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now. I can't believe this quest. You nuked the update when it recovered back to seven. Yeah, because I guess. And when I turned the, when I went back into my Windows updating thing, it said uh, it recognized it as a failed update. It literally said Windows update to Windows 10 failed, like in Windows settings or whatever. I can't believe this dumb quest. I'm gonna have a dumpling. This guy has a lot of health for being a bank customer. His pockets may be deep, but his resilience certainly is the opposite. Seriously, what a chicken. Look at this guy. I am beating him. Look at this. Look at this loser. Yep, got him. There you go. That's for fighting me. To beat up that asshole. Cool. All right, back inside. No safer place than a bank. No safer place than a bank. <clears throat> Come on. Where the hell'd she go? Hair pomade. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. Now we're gonna follow her to a back room where she'll be banging someone, most likely. I truly wonder who she got to lend her that much. So you see. She claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window you one. cannot be serious. I too find it hard to believe. Oh my so gosh. Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? We're on our break. You just opened. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something We're I... on break. <laughs> Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. Oh my uh, gosh. No choice, I guess. Need to wait till they're done with their break. What is this quest? Honestly, this quest is ridiculous. What a weird quest, you know? You must wait. They have the break now. Slow head turn. So, what do you hope to get here, my friend? Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. But, as we are both forced to wait, fancy a round of wait. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and now I had a roadblock. Should have been a, a one-punch knockout for comedic effect. Alright, I'm betting it all because... Why not? Let's lay him out. Now, that I understand. I need the money. I'll start arranging my deck. Boom! Wait, I don't want to do the tutorial. Aw, oh, crap. I clicked the tutorial. Alright, we'll just go through this really quickly. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Can I turn off tutorials? Is there a way to turn off? Back, back. I will not be defeated. Alright, here we go. We'll just make this quick. I don't know why it, uh... I, I swear I disabled tutorials before I went into this, but I guess it didn't do much. I'm probably gonna end up losing this. We shall see, though. Smart, he recognizes what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save that, actually. 
Gwen is a fun game. I love Gwen. Half the reason I play this game. Well, it's it's kind of like a long lines of you know you come for the you come for the Witchering, you stay for the Gwen. You know, I should be winning. Yeah, I'm winning just by one point. See, like that's gonna that's just gonna give you one point. Oh wait, yeah, he's gonna do that then. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, what do I need to throw me over here? That's like a boost to. All right, and I'm doing this, and then I'm calling a draw. All right, I'm drawing, or not drawing, passing. The game is basically life, dude. This is like, this game is GTA, but in medieval times, you know. <laughs> Minus cars, just have a horse. One who stands like a bratty child who wants attention, so they're trying to get rid of their siblings. Seems a little violent, but, uh, sure, I can correct your gamble. This guy's gonna demolish me. Wow, he knows I can't catch up. Damn it. Use leader card, what is this? That would have been really helpful last round. Well, I done fucked myself in the asshole. Years of practice, my friend. Speaking of which, I, I have seen. Oh, much I wanted to do the actual card game. Hypnosis, bribery, nothing works. Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. Be kind, be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window twelve hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. Guy looks like a monkey. So what, I'm gonna have to romance her. Just up some flowers, some perfume. <laughs> well, oh my you gosh! Will solve your matter lickety split. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? Right, certainly worth a shot. Gerald is gonna get like roses and perfume and stuff, and then like Good luck. he's gonna be he's gonna be called like a jerk or an asshole or something, or like a jackass or something pretentious like that for trying to flirt with the bank lady. All right, buy a present. I just want to see what happens if I do this. I do I have any presents? What what could I possibly give her? Probably jewelry. Yeah, I could give her plenty of stuff here. I could give her a silver teapot. I could give her a platter. I could give her a wooden spoon. I think I have candy I can give her. Let's see here. Yeah, I have toffee. I have candy. Chocolate souffle. Perfect. Wait a minute. There's something there for roach. Let me look at that again. Oh, look at that. Trophy from the monster I killed earlier in the game. Yeah, uh, the first video I uploaded to YouTube is a monster you kill, and that's uh, the one you have to deal with. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to go buy one. Alright, let me go do that then. Let me actually go and buy it. Find some place to buy it for, from. Because in, like, Witcher 1 or whatever, if you have uh, a chocolate bar or something on hand, you can give it to them right away. Like, you have to flirt with some old hags in that game just to get by. It's, it's kind of terrifying, honestly. This place looks important. Um, hello, merchant. Whoa, a witcher! A witcher! A serious client at last. Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle, Ganesha petals. How about a game of Gwen? How about what game you have on for? I mean, what do you have on for? Blah blah blah. I need a gift for a lady. He has lots of stuff. Oh, flowers. There we go. Perfect. Flowers. Too much. I'll give her five flowers. Make it the bouquet. Oh my gosh. All the formulas he has. All of these formulas. I can... I can... I don't have a lot of money, though. Or do I? I have 20,000. I should be fine, actually. Oh, these are all mutagen transfers. I need some of the basic stuff here, so... Enhanced, superior, enhanced, superior. 
I'm gonna absolve my funds really quick. I need all this stuff though. This is just for crafting, so I have a lot of this on my main character. I mean, ideally, when you're playing the game, you work your way up to all this stuff, but you know, superior dragonoid oil, cursed oil, hangman's hybrid. What's over here? I missed it. Oh, beast oil, superior, enhanced. Enhance, superior, superior, next superior, superior, superior. We're good on money. We can buy all these probably. We're making this guy rich, and then I'm gonna sell him some more shit, and he's gonna have to, he's gonna have to buy it. Yeah, all these are potions we need, so. Absolutely no shame in spending all the money I just did, to be honest. Go buy them flowers, pretty boy. Don't tell me what to do. Formula. Oh, I need some of this stuff. Rebus, Rebato, Vermilion, Vitriol. I need that one. Katakan, Katakan. Quip, Quibrith, Nigrito. These are all... I don't know about the greater mutagen transfers. That's something new to this expansion. Mutagen transfers or whatever. Ether, Albedo. I need all those. All right, let's sell them some shit as well, just to balance it out. The dude was creepy. He looked like a monkey. So, I mean, I, I honestly don't know. Don't know what to expect from him. Um, yeah, there's a huge delay again. I Here's my theory about the whole stream lag thing. I think it buffers so much because it's not capable of keeping up anymore. And that's why the buffering stopped. Because to counteract the buffering, it just delayed the stream until it was doable. <laughs> I still have the... There's a hand you find... An unusual severed hand that you find and now I just have just weirdly have it in my inventory all right well uh, we'll find I'll keep a mental note of this guy we'll find stuff to sell him need to get going need to get going till next time prepare for a long ass dun -dun -dun. every time these things pop up on the side of the page yeah you'll you will uh, we'll just take a walk there no we'll run over but you'll see those pop-ups on the side of the page for a while, because I bought a ton of stuff. Drugs come from plants and or flowers. Just tr true to life. True to life indeed. Superior northern wind. Only 20 minutes have passed. That can't be right. Alright, here we go. I bought you some flowers. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc, etc. How can I help you, sir? She looks so bored. Can I give you flowers? Need form 202. Need form 202 to get a copy of permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me. Wasted a lot of time because of you. I wouldn't waste Please, time on any other girl. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Surname. Let me find it. Get on, Gemel. Here it is, Geralt of Rivia. Sorry, sir, I cannot issue Form 202. <laughs> Excuse me? The applicant in question has been declared dead, officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? I'm clearly living and I'm staying. Give flowers, here we go. I'm really just here to see you. <laughs> We're gonna flirt just to better our odds. Give flowers. Got you some flowers. Just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. To me? It worked. It's really? working. Match the color of your eyes. Oh, oh my dear. You, sir, are quite the charmer. Ah, <laughs> He winked. Wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Cinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. This quest. This quest is ridiculous. All we're trying to do is retrieve a loan from the bank. We've been declared dead. Which does make sense because Geralt did die in the story of the Witcher. Like in the series. Dies maybe five to six years before this game. 85 seconds? That seems that seems accurate. Hello, me? Who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Been a bit busy. But I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell, how can I help you? Sorry if these notifications on the side of the 
screen get annoying. It just it does it every time you get something, and I bought a ton of uh, manuscript pages. Yeah, 85 seconds isn't that bad. Got a problem with my account. Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... Nay, problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just gonna need to settle your tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit Not something else. Among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. What happened to my coin? Chen Finelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the IR? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. We just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. Uh, her enlightened highness, she's hired you. Mm-hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account, right now. <laughs> he winked! Uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. Yeah, the delay isn't too bad. Not as bad as some so other streams. So the trade these days, Master Witcher? Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shite. Dark shite! Wine sales are stuck in the market. Dark shite. It's the fucking wretched names. Women winking at you with both eyes. Is she into you? Yeah, you really can't tell because <laughs> you really can't tell. Mixed signals, really. I mean, maybe she's just maybe she's just blinking. Maybe something was in her eyes. You know, it's really hard to tell. Hmm. I'm waiting for you to go into the vault. Done. Deposit box two five six. Last in on the right. I swear, if it's not there. I can guarantee you won't be there. Here we go. Uh oh, what? I knew what there was the something here. This Chen Finelli box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Really? You're gonna hey, make me... Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't dare! Oh, you'd dare. And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. He doesn't seem convinced. They got people locked in here. Got a week. Got a week. Not one day more. You shall Thank God. This, I swear. I'll rustle it up. Have it ready for you in Cough seven ho. days. Mm -hmm. See you then. Welcome to Vinciali Bank, where the customers of a cust where where. We treat your money as if it's our own, etc., etc. Kiss a dog's ass. Yo, know, maybe I don't want to. Maybe I'd rather kiss a donkey's ass. All right, cool. So that's that quest. We just gotta wait, wait a week in game. Literally, you have to wait a week in game time before you can actually equip it, most likely. Um, I need good armor. Not this. Not this. Not this crap. Yeah, now you can preview items, which is really nice. Those pants, though, are ridiculous. Might I add? <laughs> Gloves. Of course, they're really good. Because you can't, can't wear them, man. Alright. Um, a couple other things we ought to get to. I want to get a haircut. So, let's look at the world map here. There should be... Alright, alright. I need to get rid of these tutorials. I need to figure out... I need to turn off these tutorials. Gameplay, um... Off, there we go. Wait a second, hold on. That's not right, it should be Death March. Yeah, that's me, I'm the Death March guy. They're playing on Death March. I don't know why it changes that. I think it's just because of the way you're playing and then it, it varies depending on your settings. 
Settlement feature, I mean house feature on stream. Yeah, we'll do that next. We'll do that next. I just wanna... What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna get a haircut. And then we'll do the house thing. We'll check out our house. Settlement. House thing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that. That's what that does. Alright. Um... Where does one go for a swim? General. Quests. Exploration. Um, shopkeeper. A barber. Where is said barber at? Ah, they're all over here by the tourney grounds. Alright. That's one waypoint. Um... That's really the only waypoint I need to hit up, I think. That should be doable. Alright. Let's get Geralt. I mean, not Geralt. Roach. We're getting Roach. Roach has got a, uh, a cool yes. little headpiece. That's really the only thing he's got going for him right now. Oh, wait. No, not a... He's got the... Uh, the head of the monster we killed. Just meditate a week. I can't, dude. I, you can only meditate a day at a time. I mean, I can meditate seven times, but it's not worth it. We'll just wait a week. Never you We're going to get a haircut. Going to get a haircut. Oh, I can't. Can't go full gallop. This is pretty. This place is pretty. Isn't it pretty? It is pretty. Pretty awesome is what it is. Alright, at least the distance between these places isn't too bad. So I think size comparison, I think the biggest city in the game is still Novigrad. Which is the one you uh, will infamously see during the story. Um, and then I'm pretty sure this is probably the second biggest. It's definitely bigger than Oxenford. Oxenford is small. Definitely the small city. Dormir of Troy. Roach has a tail. Dude, I know, right? The other night I was... What was yeah, I was streaming that night and he didn't have a tail. That was frustrating. Barber, here we go. Welcome, my good sir. Need a bit of grooming. I uh, doth respect. Alright, let's see. Beer's gotten scraggy. You know instead you wanna play Gwent? <laughs> I don't do like a parody of that. Hey, you wanna play Gwent? Hair's unkempt. Loosely gathered, tied behind the head. Uh shaved head and ponytail. Long and loose, loose not long, shaved on the side, short on top and a ponytail. Elven Rebel Cut. Um, let's see all of these. I have the money. Actually, no. He, it's a bit more expensive here. It's like five. No, I think that's the right. The shave is like five. Oh, that's literally exactly what I had before. Shaved head and ponytail. Let's look at that one. That's usually what I go for. Let me look at these other ones here. Um, shaved on the side, short on top of bone. Actually, no, changed my mind. Hold on. Uh, do I want to get a shave? Geralt looks pretty badass. Keep it fluffy. What a nice goatee. Oh, finally, you can, you can adjust the, you can adjust your facial hair. That's so awesome. You can't, all you could do in the main game was just get a shave. You could just get a shave, that's all. Mustache and a little duck tail on my chin. That's what I want. <laughs> Sideburns and a mustache. Keep it fluffy. I want to keep it fluffy, probably. Do, do you honestly want to make a straw pull? Want a nice, neat goatee. Let me look at these for a second. Let me just see what these look like. Let me just see what these look like. Oh, that looks horrible. I'm Geralt Rivia. It's high noon. It's high noon. What a nice, neat goatee. Let me see what that looks like. I'm just wasting away the day, wasting away the week, just getting my hair cut, you know? Eh. Eh. Garrett always, Garrett always looks better with just a beard, so, you know. Keep it fluffy, that's all. Perfect! There we go, farewell. My time's up. So long. What a badass way to stand up. Time to go kill monsters. 
I always love this haircut of Geralt. I don't know. I think it's because when they originally announced the game, this is the haircut that uh, they revealed Geralt with. It just seems much more fitting, I think. I don't know. I mean, I like the first one. It's just... Like, I mean, the base one, it's just... I don't know. I like I like the ponytail. The ponytail just feels much more badass for some reason. Like, kind of Ronin style, you know? All Ronin style. 47 Ronin. Alright, so... Uh, Let's do some other quests here in the meantime. We have a couple. Oh my gosh, look at all these quests we have. Damn. Alright, let's see. Wine Wars. No place like home. Go to Colville Bianco. That's the one I want to check out. It should be nearby. I think. Kind of? Nah, we'll get Roach. So we're going to check out our house. We got a settlement. We're going to check that out. Where, where is, what is Roach doing? Did he just cross the water? Roach literally just jumped over the water. Jumped over the whole entire enclosure here. Because Roach is a badass. Hey, Roach. Or do I want to go get a drink? Actually, no. Hold on. Let me buy cards from the Gwent vendor. So many intervening opportunities here. I'm going to buy Gwent cards, though. A real drunk person. Let's see here. I just love the atmosphere. Can I, uh, purchase stuff? Do I have to meet you behind the counter, my fair maiden? Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. Seems kind of weird I had to go behind the counter to... Show me, show me, show me, show me your goods. To show me what you have to sell. <laughs> the dialogue. Show me your goods, ma'am. No, settlement features. Sorry, no, we're doing Gwent cards here. Look at all these Gwent cards. I need... You don't understand, I need all these Gwent cards. You know, I'm not even looking at what I'm buying. All I know is that these are Gwent cards and I want them. This will help us develop our decks a little more. So I can actually play people in Gwent. Here, what can I sell her? Because she has a lot of money now. Alright, let's see. Uh, you can have the Handkerchief Monogram DLC. I just love that. Did I tell you guys about that earlier? I think I did. How you find a Handkerchief says DLC, and he says, Clearly an expensive accessory. <laughs> Flowers. Silver teapot. Bear hide. Goat hide. Wolf hide. Hide. Sell. 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 Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to sell those. Wait a minute. Need that. And I'm giving her more money. Need that. Those are quest items, technically. They just don't have much use. You can have my flowers, ma'am. Only for the finest ladies in all the land. Alright. So we're not going to get much money in until we start like doing quests and stuff. So long. Can I just say I love this armor Geralt has? I, I'm, I'm reluctant to change it just because of how badass it is. You know, you change it so early in the game, but I'm holding on to it. I'm holding on to it. Strampana! Strampana! Oh, that's right. I was going to get Roach to come with me. Isn't that right? Roach, trample, you tramp, trampled over a small child, Roach. Trampled over a small child. And for what reason? Evil horse. This game is pretty. What are you doing? You don't want to go into the arena yet. Come on. That's a quest we can also. I think we can do on the side. It was part of the main story. I think you going. It was. When I say I think, I mean it definitely was. Oh gosh, Roach, get on the road here. <laughs> so uh, basically, our settlement is a formerly occupied morgue. Thank God it's been cleaned up. You know. Because it was a morgue, and you do find dead bodies here at one point. Look, they already cleaned everything up. Just like new, you know? Oh, wait. Not down here. That's a cellar I get to keep. But uh, you kill a monster in there. You kill a vampire, basically. Spoilers, but you know. Major Domo. home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. Barnabas. of the Duchess. I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Pieck. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, 
who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Bartus Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let me see here. This place. Tell me more about it. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it? A vineyard. Not even just a house. Not even a morgue. It's a vineyard. Went bankrupt. Technically. Forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. What a badass. Never hesitated. Not once. Wow. Never sliced unevenly. Never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. <laughs> Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Let's have a tour. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Cool. This place is cool looking. You got a cellar, you got you got like the little enclosures and everything's kinda cool. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Now, we don't just get the settlement. There we get to customize it, life. too. There's a lot of and customizable features about long it. Line of major Interactive domes. stuff. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. <laughs> great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. They say that to touch such swords as a witcher wears on his back is to lose one's virility. Not even Reginald's jewels. Chickens. We got some chickens. We're good. Nifty. Dude, I know, right? We got chickens. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, actually, I did. Not the most sightly part of the estate, but I think it's worthwhile for you. Yes, eggs. All right, now we can grow more chickens, guys. Chicken legs. Now we are going to grow more chickens. We are gonna grow some chickens. Sorry, didn't mean to. Didn't mean to trail off. Just wanted to roast some chickens and get some eggs. You know. I love the way this place looks. Vines in this part of the estate are rooted, and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now either. The housing in Twitter is shit. It's okay. It's literally just CWA housing on steroids. Not even that. CWA housing was way more creative. Where we grow a strain of Carfaneri, one of the world's oldest, aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. 
Have to try it one of these days. Yeah, it sounds fun. Definitely, uh... I mean, I own all this. I own all this, technically. The queen delegated it to me, so... Or the duchess, I should say. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a bolus. Freeze, fries, chickens, and rips eggs out of their bodies. Of hey, don't question my methods, man. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping. <laughs> the festivities were coming to a close, and the well was <laughs> nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Huge downpour there. It was raining earlier here. Killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. <laughs> Burn chickens. Nice of her. <laughs> and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. This is all very interesting. For those who don't know, Lebioda in this game is basically the equivalent of the, uh... I want to say the Catholic Church. They're more like monks, if anything. The Catholic Church is, well, aren't monks? Didn't monks de go into Catholics? Catholicism? Didn't that evolve into Catholicism? I don't know. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. The awesome thing about a game like this is that anything you see can be explored, really. Um, I think this might be one of the exceptions, though, because the area is kind of small as it is. Areas like that in the background, we can't really explore that much. Hmm. This place is awesome. It's taking forever to give me a tour, but still. See the way you could build whatever you wanted. What's the tour? All you can do is decorate a pre-made building area, and decorations are hell expensive. Madame Nina Dude, the building part of that game, totally a cash grab. I hate to say it because people want it for so long, but it is absolutely a cash grab. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. At least take me out to dinner first. Here's a torch for no reason whatsoever. Look at that fire. Look at the way that fire flickers. That's realistic. It's kind of crazy. Okay, put it away. Just stuff it in your back pocket. Someone was telling me the other day that there's an actual name for, uh... There's an actual name for the capacity in your butthole where and where video game characters put stuff in their inventory. Like, I've talked about it for ages. I've had a theory about it. I call it butthole theory or something, or butt, butt inventory theory. Or gluteous inventory theory or something like that. Or inventory mac, whatever. You get the idea. And there's an actual name for it. I, my one friend told me the other day, and I was like, what, really? I have no idea. I don't remember what it's called. I'll have to look it up again, but there's an actual name for it. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Yeah, Roach, you're gonna live here, man. How do you feel about that? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me call Roach. Come in here, Roach. Where's Roach at? Oh, he's over there. He's he's in, he's pretty happy right now. Clearly. Can we uh, go inside the house now? Do we have to go inside the cellar? I've already been in the cellar. I killed a vampire down there. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the ah. mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Yep, yep. There we go. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. I killed a vampire thing down there. Yeah. Follow your measure, demo. Let's go up here. A witcher. We could use one around here, full time. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Hmm. <laughs> She kind of looks at me. All right. I love how the people in this game say it's all about southern charm because geographically, this area of the world is in the south of Nilf South Nilfgaard, Nilfgaard, part of Nilfgaard, basically. But uh, 
it's interesting because they say it has a southern charm and Southern charm in our real life terms is completely different from Southern charm in their terms. Southern charm is richer, where Southern charm here is probably like not exactly poor, but more along the lines of just more traditional, you know? Less traditional, more traditional. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will together devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. We can put paintings up? That, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. But one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Yeah, so this is basically, this is the same thing as the veal in AC2. You just add stuff everywhere and yeah. You renovated. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced. I probably don't have enough money to do this, but you so. know. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. House. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residents positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Eh, yeah, why not? That's all I'm going to pay for, though. Your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residents. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there two days. I gotta wait two days. You require, sir? Um. So long. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, BB. Wait three days. I gotta wait for everything. Weapon rack. No up weapons. No items in inventory we place there. Oh, here's my bed. Oh, I can put a painting here, it looks like. No inventory. Oh, you know what? Damn it. There is a uh, there's a mission in the main game where you're looking for Dandelion or whatever, which is one of the main characters. And you come upon a, what is it, an illegal, what is it, like, I forget what they call that, what it's called, but when you basically fake a painting or falsify a painting, so basically you, I guess it'd be, uh, I don't know what the name for it would be, but basically they reproduce copies of paintings, and they sell them for more than the actual price, and... Uh, they actually bribe you not to tell them about what they're doing. Counterfeit something? I don't, probably not counterfeit, but uh, there's, a, there's a name for it. There's a name for it, what it's called. And so to bribe you to make sure that you don't re re talk about them or report them, they actually give you a painting, a very unusual painting. I wish I still had it. Um, of course, I'm playing through the game again right now, another character. I think I'll, I'll make sure to hold on to it because at some point I just sold it. I was like, you know what? There's no use for this. That's exactly what you use it for, a stash. That's what I just had. Nice to have a stash. You know, you need those. Place trophy. I guess that's if I wanted to uh, hang my monster stuff. Like, if I wanted to put monster heads here. Once again, it would be so nice. It'll be so nice when I get to this expansion of my main character. Because, well, like, I'm literally playing the whole game over again. And I can just put everything I have from here. So here's all my letters. Oh, what did I get? I just got buffed with something. At the top there. It says I got buffed. I don't know what it was, though. I think it's a... must be an XP boost or something. Seems like it. Um, it looks like there's also a crafting table, some sort of armor stand. Yeah. Yay, what a random-ass assortment of gear, but it's, it's fine. Now, does that take it out of my inventory? Yes, it does. Art forgery. Yes, yes, art forgery. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I, forgery was the word I was looking for primarily, but yeah. 
I, I seriously wish I still had my... This is where I'm kind of regretting my hard drive being wiped. I mean, yeah, you can't regret something that kind of just happened to you at it without no choice whatsoever. But, like, there's so much shit on my main character that I could have put in this place. Weapons and armor stuff. Don't worry, we'll, we'll find stuff to put in here still. Alright, uh, let's go do some stuff. Let's go do more stuff. So that's, that's another quest. Paper chase. We gotta wait a week. Gotta wait three days. Search for Moro's grave at Olarmis Cemetery. This is a letter we got from Yennefer telling us about, uh... If my lips don't stink of wine, telling my wife won't know they're mine. Aha! Uh -huh. So now we're gonna go, uh, dig up an old dude's cemetery. We're not look for... Not dig up a, a guy's cemetery. Just look for his body in a cemetery or something. I don't know. All I know is Moru, whatever he said in Yennefer's letter, was that he uh, he's an expert on witchery. Not witchery, but he's an expert on witcher mutations. So this is a game mechanic that would need to be advanced for us to get some enjoyment out of it. I love how they make it a goal with each expansion, not only to add more story content, open world content, but also to add game mechanics. You know, like, that's cool. That's cool stuff. Out of my way! -na 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 Where's the music at? That is my question. Where did the music go? There it is. It was playing for a second. Or it was about to play for a second. Nice little shanty town here. Not really a shanty town, just off town. Now we're getting back into the city. Truly, to send a witcher against the beast. I love this area of the map. I love this area. I think it might just be my favorite like open world space. I mean, yeah, Velen and Skellige are truly amazing by themselves. Especially Velen. I love Velen. Skellige is something else with all the mountain peaks and grass and everything. But that is not to dismiss the beauty of this place too. I just... What a massive and, like, near-perfect game, you know? No game is perfect, but just everything about this game is just so gigantic and awesome, you know? Art curator. I could do some art. Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. Oh, Jamie, is this that quest? Is this the quest? To give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I bet this is the quest. No presentation today. That guy looks really horrified that a woman is standing oh, inside of him. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. What kind of work? This quest work is awesome. To the monument to Reginald Dobb. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? What's this about? Just tell me. The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Yeah, this is the quest. Oh my gosh, Jamie, this Here is the quest. Is our pride and joy. Reginald Dalbry. <laughs> this is this quest is amazing. You guys just have to see what happens. It's amazing. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. <laughs> Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using the cast of the great Reginald's own genitals, certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All oh my gosh. That's unparalleled virility if you stroke stones. it. For stroking it, that's uh... A little terrifying. Not really terrifying, it's just weird. Yes. This quest is hilarious, yeah. Uh any suspects? Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. 
Who would not want it for himself? <laughs> when they disappear. Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. The stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Grasping his stones. The entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. They need to be able to stroke his testicles. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. All right, let's uh, let's investigate the crime here. Someone made off with the man's testicles. It will all work out. Stolen genitals. <laughs> are straight and clean precision castration I call this <laughs> castration that's what it is that he literally castrated the statue he castrated the statue this is uh very interesting the cash the the, the cash ringing the castrating the the hash slinging wait a second there's something here something down there yeah, there's something down there. Hold on. Uh. Is it in here? Locked. How to get inside? Stolen genitals. His prized pouch. That's awesome and horrible. Oh gosh, it's over here, I think. Or I don't know how to get down there. I just love how this guy's like. Like has some sort of religious fascination with this guy's this guy's balls <laughs> basically his prized pouch too much potency locked everything's locked now it looks like there was a clue down there I just don't know how to get to it this is close too I'm pretty sure yeah all right let me get down there um yeah, I saw the clue mark. It was like right down here. Yep, there it is. It just appeared. Maybe if I circle the square, I can get to it. No, that just takes me back up. Yeah, I need to go back down. Oh! Oh! Coming through, need to find a stolen statue's balls. I can go through here. Okay, is there anything in here? Anything in here of value? Certainly looks like a nice house. One that I was uh, maybe meant to walk through. Wait, let me look through here. Purple armor die. Oh, that's right, you can dye your armor in this expansion. I forgot about that. Note, is there anything written on the note? Here, let me see, inventory. Other. Oh, there's nothing written on it. Okay. Uh, I want to take everything in this house, but I'm going to. Me, my panther, and I. Kiki Moors. I think, yeah, yeah, if you read... If you read bestiary entries, you actually get information about them. So, that's kind of helpful. Kiki Moors. Gotta love Kiki Moors. Or you read documents on beasts. Alright, we can't go in there. Let's go back upstairs. I will f I will not stop until the man sh Oh, that was weird change in lighting. Oh, it's weird. It's really weird. Okay, this is a little bit glitchy of an area. You know what this is? You know what this is? This is like when you're taking uh, when you're taking a photo and the flash goes off. That's what this is. With flash, without flash, with flash, without flash. Without flash always looks better. I mean, yeah, almost always without flash always looks better in my mind. Book, false teeth, parchment razor. So much random stuff. Th this house has to belong to someone. Here, this this will, uh... Here, I bet if I keep the torch out. Nope, it just looks dumb. That is a weird graphical glitch. That ought to be fixed. Alright, well, nothing much of value in here. I wonder if I could steal the paintings, though. That's some cool wallpaper art. Uh... 
Okay, let us let us uh, try to find locked. Where's the clue? It's down there. Right, that's what it looks like. Wait, is there a well? Oh, maybe I can. No, it's just a tree, not a well. Oh, a Wizard of Oz reference. Wizard of Oz reference. Alright, what is this? What is this? It says something here. Um, the Otter and Jules Winery. Maybe the clue's down here. It seemed like it. Yeah, right there. That The clue's right there. It looks like it, at least. Unless it's glitched. Jamie, do you remember how the guy completed this quest on the stream we were watching? Because I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. I don't have, I know how to get to it. Old pamphlet. Uh, ruling elite, which plays blah blah blah. Revolt, you're being played by the elite. Blah blah blah. That's so nice. Oh, she's playing uh, Priscilla's song from the main story. Love that music. Look up uh, for those of you who are a fan of good Witcher music. Look up uh, the Witcher 3 Priscilla song. I, I mean, I could probably put it in chat, Priscilla, but it's it's probably one of my favorite moments of the entire game because it just slows down and everything is just, it's, it comes at the perfect time. How do I get to that? Is there a back room to the cellar? There's got to be. No, I don't know. I investigated almost doing? everything in the area, so... I mean, I don't see what else there is to look for, really. Can I go in here? Nope, it's locked. Don't crowd around. Don't crowd around, you idiot, you imbecile. What is this? Oh yeah. Okay, that's just that's the same information as before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Aha! There's something I missed. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. There's still details in the area. I just gotta look for them, I guess. It must. Don't worry, Reginald. Don't worry. You shall be home. Alright. Maybe it's something's up here. I'm surprised that just now popped out to me, you know? There's gotta be other stuff we missed if we came back through here. That clue thing is still marked down there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We, we've definitely missed something, I think. I just hate when it makes me look ridiculously around for something that I don't even know where it is. I don't even know where it is. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, Reginald. Yo, can I get that see-through wall ability that they got in that Assassin's Creed game? Thanks. Wait, hold on. There's something over here I didn't. Piece of cut oh. fabric caught on the nail. Heavy Uncle known. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. If I can follow the scent trail, it goes down here, I think. Aha, uh -huh, so that's what that clue mark was. I think it's a little bit of a, I think it must be a glitch, because it's basically leading me to where I would go if, uh, you know, if I was still doing the quests. You know, if I followed it all the way. Alright, following the scent trail. Following the scent trail. Following the scent trail. Welcome to stream, Delcabon. Just an hour long conquest in Smite. Figure to come check out the stream now. Yeah, man. Totally. We're uh, trying to find a missing statue's genitals. Not even kidding. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Mama says that it Where does the scent go? I can barely see it. Hearts of Made of Stone. They're referring to the last expansion. So many references. I think it just ran out of original things to say, so they just crammed the game with references, basically. 
Here we go. To be born in Tucson is to be born under a lucky star. Wait, hold on. Not that, not that house. Or maybe it is that house. The scent. Wait. I'm trying to see where it's going. During the tourney. One night got stuck uh, in the so bent out of shape it was from It's really hard to see where it ends. A whole team of it looks like it ends here, but it doesn't. No, it keeps going. I can barely see it. I can barely see it. Alright, there we go. Now I can see it again, kinda. Please tell me it's ending soon. This guy ran quite a ways. That kid has a sword. What will the there we go. <clears throat> um, thank you for watching the stream, everybody. I'm gonna be out my way. No. <laughs> you can me, right? Dude, this quest is funny. I really wish I didn't watch that stream, to be honest, because that totally just spoils the surprise of this. Well, one can assume what they're doing with the genitals. Um, let's go in. <laughs> oh my gosh! And they're not even real. Sorry to interrupt, I guess. This this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor, I, I I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Jews, that's not him. I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence, a series thereof. <sighs> that's not my husband. <laughs> you mean, not, not your husband? Who are you, and why are you in my home? Out, now, or I'll summon the guards. Why is he okay with her husband his her husband walking in, but he's not okay with me walking in? I don't like your tone. Watch your tone, Gramps. Just here to talk. I I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh we do, we do. Just to kick things off. You're in great form for a man your age. <laughs> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. I think this sounds spoiled enough. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, like, the reaction, though. You cannot do that now. <laughs> Cannot do that now. Uh, I hear you say. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Everyone who strokes his who genitals testicles have I, uh, fertility. I can explain everything. Um, this. Rosalinda, I know you're in there. You and that fancy pants of yours. Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Is he gonna fight with testicles? What the hell's this? Rosalinda! One, I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, God, you <laughs> Two at one time? Don't take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! But two at one time! Go home. <sighs> Got no time for this. <laughs> Go home. Y yes, that'll be best. I I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Speaking of skin, mm -hmm. so time to talk. Oh. Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right, I admit I stole the stones. 
and you will never believe it. But they work. Today you know Saminda and I, but three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. <laughs> Isn't it? At my age. Three That's times. More than the entire lost One decade. day. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. <laughs> my gosh. Perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do? Willing to lend them to you. <laughs> Need to take them. Fine. Hmm. He'll pay me if I don't take the testicles. I'm gonna take him anyway. Geralt is a Jedi, yeah. Axie is uh, mind control, basically. Or reading minds. It's, it's tel telepathy, yeah. He is a Jedi. They made it more Jedi-like than ever, though, in this game. It's it's He's way more of a Jedi in this game than he's ever been. Willing to lend them to you. <laughs> Geralt don't need a... St Geralt don't need stones. He's got, uh, it's still all original, still all original, still all fresh down below. All right, we're taking him. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But, but if you were to leave them with me for a day or two, uh, three at the most. Shit out of luck. Sorry. At Poor guy. day's end, it's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here. Thanks, and good luck. Actually, think you'll do just fine without them. Hmm. <laughs> I find it hilarious how Rosalinda, whatever, was going along with it. Like she's completely fine with the fact that this man's generals weren't even real. Look at this view. This view is crazy. That mountain, you know, that that mountain peak in the background. Look at the clouds moving overhead. You know, is it really already seven o'clock in game? Ah, oh, okay. Ah. This stream, glad I joined. Dude, the quest in this game, I swear. We did one earlier where what? We had to get, we had to withdraw money from the bank. So, but we were declared dead. So we had to get a certain form that basically confirmed that we weren't dead. We went to like three different booths. None of them had them. And so one booth told us in order to get the form we need another form so we got on a wait list we, we were we had to wait basically because they were on break we played gwent with a guy we played cards with a guy while we were waiting i uh, i bought flowers for the one lady so that she would give me the form to convince her to give me the form and then after that she gave me like a special object or whatever and i gave it to the bank owner and he tried he basically almost was about to kill me because he spent all my money so yeah, dude, I would have so straw pulled that, but you know. Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotis luscious lips, it's them. <laughs> it's really them. I hope this modest reward nonetheless compares the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. <laughs> you shall stroke Reginald this... at no charge. You shall stroke him at no charge on the house. Oh my gosh, that quest. Is he actually gonna put it on? Here, let's watch him put it on, guys. Let's watch the let's watch him put it back on. Let's see, he's gonna put it back on. Watch him. He's gonna put it back on. <laughs> Hammering his dick. That is fantastic. That is just fantastic. Someone scream, get... Oh, he hit it too hard. He hit it too hard. Someone screen cap this. I would, but I don't have any screen capping software open. I mean, I guess I could print screen, but... This guy's working up a sweat, trying to hammer the genitals back in, you know? Trying to line it up. All oh, it's realistic. Lebiota's luscious lips! You shall have free strokes. 
free strokes. I just, I, I just think that's hilarious. It's made that much more funny by this NPC because he has like almost this religious fascination with the man's genitals. Like what the hell? The view in this game though is in freaking sane. It's it's absolutely beautiful. This game is art. It's 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 a moving it's a moving painting is what it is. It's crazy. All right, what quest do I want to do now? Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the um, what is it? That's Hearts of Stone. What's your contracts? Ooh. Secondary quests. We have to wait a week. Visit Guillaume in the medic's tent. Good grief. Duct tape. <laughs> Duct tape. Oh yeah, that's right. We were going to do that quest, weren't we? Forgot about that. Let me check my alchemy stuff really quick here. Because I want to see... All parts present, parts missing. I could make mutagens. Ooh, I need to kill some monsters if I want to make any of this stuff. Decoctions. Enhanced oil. Oh my gosh, I am missing literally everything. I doubt there's anything we'll be able to make. Probably not. Everything is so... Mutagen, greater green, greater red. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. Greater green, greater blue, greater red. Neato. It'll be really hard to upgrade anything on this character just because of how uh, limited we are as far as loots. Was that truly necessary? Herbalist. Welcome. Herbs freshly picked, dried, powdered. Whatsoever your heart desires. Might have a look. Let me see what you got. Oh, she's got plenty of stuff. Let's see what she has here. These are all probably decoctions. More decoctions. Alright, I'm not going to spend all my money here. Actually, no, I probably will. <laughs> Noonwraith. Troll. Doppler. Wyvern. We probably can't make any of these because we actually have to kill the monsters in order to do anything with them. But, you know, it never hurts to have them on hand. Grave Hag. Wraith. Earth Elemental. Akinda. Reliever. Never heard of that one. Griffin. Leshen. Necker. Werewolf. Basilisk. And Leshen. We are broke AF. Oh, and here's some other ones that I need to grab as well. Blizzard, Full Moon. Oh, we're going to cut it close here. White Raffords, Decoction, Thunderbolt, Peaches, Pilfer, Marbor Forest. Potion of Clearance. Don't need that yet. What are these other ones here, though? Potion of Restoration. All ability points spent developing mutagens to the pool so you can reallocate them. Mutagens, okay. Perfume, Flowers, Dye Solution. Yeah, you can dye armor now, apparently. That's awesome. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have a ton of new stuff. A lot of cautions. Can't make any of them, of course. I'm missing a ton of stuff. I need the mutagens from all the monsters I killed in order to make any of these. Here, though, I need—I just need a lot of random mass stuff that I can't get alone. So, which is unfortunate, but uh, that's how it is. Now, that we could possibly do. We just need to get... A lot of these separate materials, but priority right now should be making money. So long. You need to wake up. You gotta make what money. Think Torn up page. Arch, Arch Griffin. An old murder by the horrid beast. Milton the Peyron, Peyron falls victim to his old. Poor Milton. Milton's a cool guy. Oh, that's a spoiler. Actually, that is a spoiler. If you've seen in the first video I uploaded, that is indeed a spoiler. Thought child has hiccups. How hilarious. Look at the sky here. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that little mountain split over there. Don't you just want to like turn into an eagle and fly over this place, you know? Wouldn't that be awesome? Freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Untouched by war. That's the... I think I have a spending problem. 
All right, I have a gambling problem. I have a spending problem. It's very clear that when I grow up, I will be uh, when I'm a, when I'm on my own, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, in debt. Look, it's Jurassic Park. It is Jurassic Park here. This is Jurassic Park. This is Isla Nublar. Isla Nublar. Look at look at all this stuff. You know, crazy, crazy stuff. Oh my gosh! Look at that sun. Look at that sun. The views in this game, though. Alright, I gotta take a screenshot of this all somehow. You know? You know what? We're gonna do just that. Hold on for a second here. This is safe, considering the, uh, the context of the which I'm using the program, but we'll do it anyway. I'm gonna open a band cam here, take screenshots. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like the game, Hand of Fate. You more gold you have, the slower you are, eventually you can crush yourself by having too much gold. Dude, that sounds awesome. Sounds realistic. True to life. Let's get this view. Let me get the sword out for effect. Hopefully nothing's happening to the stream by me doing this, you know? I mean, hopefully not. There we go. I think we're good now. Okay. Let me close that. Hopefully that did nothing to the stream. I'm still streaming, right? Wait, let me check. Yeah, I'm still streaming. Okay, cool. All right, let's see here. Uh, all right, back to the quest. This game is pretty, hellishly pretty. Can you go over there? Or is it just background stuff? Um, the split mountain part, I'm pretty sure is a place I can actually go. Those mountain caps we keep seeing in the background, highly doubt I can actually go to those. There's like a little castle formation over there. I'm pretty sure we can go to. Like, let me let me just look at the world map here. We'll see if we can find it. So yeah. That's the map. So let's see, where are we facing at the moment? Let's face the castle. Let's see where that would be, ideally. So that's probably what this is. No, that's that's not that. That's... This is probably what we were looking at there. That's probably what that is. So you can go to it. You can definitely go to it. Um, now, then there's that split mountain part. I'm guessing that's like over here. No. I'm just trying to judge the geography. And everything, you know. I mean, yeah, those are the mountain peaks. You can't you can't really go up those cuz it'll just say it'll just kick you out at some point basically. So where the that's that's over there. Let's see where that's at. Oh, I was probably looking the wrong direction. So there's this. There's uh that could be what we were looking at. Or no, actually that might that might just something tells me that's the thing we we're looking at. The point is you can go to it. You can definitely go to it. I might do that here after this little bit. Exploring a cemetery. Or I could do that for an exploration stream. Sometime next week. I heard bees. I heard buzzing bees. What's this? Monsters? Ooh, drowners. Let's go kill him. I should probably save first. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Let me see here. Uh, surprised I haven't saved it all today. There we go. Save. Save. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go kill him. Uh, that stench. Gotta love it. Totally gonna kill this guy. Oh boy, unless I die. Because I'm still kinda squishy. Not that squishy, you know, but still. Oh, here, he's dead. Please give me a drowner decoction of some sort. Maybe it won't because these guys are so common, you know? Probably the most common monsters in the game, but you know. There we go. Eliminate them pleasurably. Monster liver. That's what it gives me. Drowner brain. What's this? Pickaxe, axe head. Oh, here's something. This is uh, this is a second quest. Ornate letter. Totten letter. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selena at the Buclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that, so don't be an idiot. 
We all know you were her lover, but remember she was the leader of our gang, and that's what really counts. Uh, it's pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in old fashion. Of course, he died. And now, it's mine. I need beggar to blossoms for something I was crafting. I also need that. Let's go over here. Oh, that looks important. What's this? Died as he lived, quietly. David Triage. There's got to be a reference. There's got to be the, the names of developers in here or something. Like, you'll see that, probably. Lay Hirondale, princess from a land far across the seas. That's got to be a reference to something. I don't know, maybe if you spell it backwards or something. Let me look at that. L. Jiren. No, that wouldn't work. Uh, Martin Collicott, killed by his own ambition. These are very cynical gravestones, I swear. I want to murder whatever mosquito is making that incessant sound in game. Talked himself to death, Patrick Mullen. These are really, really grave. But dum I keep hearing moaning. Christian curate, mistranslation, misunderstanding, misfortune. These are some grave stones. Uh, Martin Blank, head of the Buclair League of Bards. I bet there's some game references here. There's got to be some game references here. There's a hidden treasure in the rest of the cemetery. Oh, wait. Is this still part of the cemetery? If so, that's a huge cemetery. And there's another quest in that building over there. Well, a day in game is equivalent to two hours, I guess. Based on our timing so far. Suspiciously loud for the cemetery at night. I was gonna say, I heard noises in the cemetery. I'm not crazy. Strange. Can't hear anything now. Alright, there's a lot of stuff in here. Can I get in, please? Thank you. That one other crate was an opening. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Oh my gosh, so many quests. How do I get in? How do I get down there? Probably down through here. So much stuff. So, noise is coming from here. Oh boy. Sounds like a monster. Till the death do you part. Alright, do I need any oils or anything? Oh boy, grave robbers. Gotta love him. Here we go, time for some... Time to whip out some badassery. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Cow's milk. Let me get that swallow. Ow. Oh gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. This wasn't smart. This definitely was not smart of me. Someone's screaming. Here, I need... You know I need? I need this. I need this. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Do it, would you kindly. There you go. Oh my gosh, pulled at the last second. Pulled at the wrong time. Here, what do I have? Grape shot. Let's do that. That all blow off some limbs. Woo! Oh gosh. Alright, someone was being raped. Someone was being raped. are buried. Buried alive, it seems. There we go. Let me get this guy. He's good. He's ripe. For the killing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh, chopped his, chopped his, chopped his limbs off. Doorframe is one game better than Warframe. Is that still a joke? 
dual frame. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, good sir. Here we go. Now you can hit me. You'll never learn. Playing the game on Death March is ridiculously punishing. Also because I'm literally like really squishy. Literally really squishy. I am really squishy. That's just, just my gear. Ooh, get away, get away. Come on. There we go, we got one. Now we can just focus on this guy. Here we go. Will you let up, please? Here, let me get ready to igni him. Oh, there we go. I got him. Unless they were trying to keep something quiet that was really loud. Oh, I could totally be a grave robber. Orders from Robin. There's a cat sitting on this grave. Interesting. The foolish flatulence, Fluffer Bruce, has tried to cheat us again. But he won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe, pickaxe and a shovel and pay our dearly. Her kitty faces. Ever since Selena's death, the kid's been mopping your howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to Chesbury with that bitch. These quests are connected. These quests are connected. Oh, I know. That's the same quest we are just looking at, basically. Oh my gosh. Woo! What? What just happened? It just closed the game for me. Alt tabbed for some reason. Don't know why I did that. All this good loot and someone is screaming because they're probably being buried alive. No idea though. Okay, here we go. Yep, someone is probably being buried alive or something. My guess. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Oh, Gerald assumed it's a grave hag. Mm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None with their someone saw the genitalia the again. This is the reason for the moaning and screaming. Well, that's a little extreme. Pretty fresh. Unless they're you upset about it. Too long ago. All right. Sounds like a nude wraith Three transformation taking place. Died on the day of Saint Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm. Smashed as if someone threw it against the wall. Seems like someone uh, broke out of their grave. Don't you love how the mood of this game changes so like drastically? Like we just went from trying to retrieve someone's a statue's genitals to now we're looking at a an undead maid risen from the grave. Time. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Maybe this, tol this whole tomb is just shit. This whole tomb is just shit. Still making noises. Coming from that tomb. Impossible. That is weird. That's a different ore I've never seen. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested. I'm not saying scared, I'm just kinda of intrigued at what's happening with this. It's really freaky weird. Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide. See how things play out. Let us hide then. Sit and wait. Press A to sit and wait. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some, some dwarf. Ah, oh, ghosts. Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. In great, I prayed for you that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. 
fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What are you arguing about? What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. <laughs> Whose crypt is this rightfully? Who does the crypt belong to rightfully? <laughs> I feel like Geralt should know better than to it's say impossible. Mine. My families, the decorant towns, are you illiterate? True. <sighs> But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes, take him. Please, do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. Ooh, I'll take those. What? I knew it was you. And now... You would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards. Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Belhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it! Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. Uh, I gotta pick one. Which one do I think <sighs> is telling the truth? Need to think about it. Alright, gotta move one of them out. Help him out. Oh gosh. The prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, for you shall have none left for me. Heretic, shut your mouth. I shall speak to you no more. No, no. It is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart. I trust the lady because she offered it first. And then he didn't seem bothered by that at all. In fact, he said he would he show me where it was too, which makes me think he's bullshitting. So I'm thinking she's but legit. Just, but I'm simply not in the mood. Also, if I take their urn from the crypt, they go. Okay, so I'm taking his urn from the crypt. Yeah, I'm taking her offer. She seems more legit. I see you fell for that pious tart driven drat. Ah, oh, well, then listen, I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. He's bullshitting us. I think he's bullshitting us somehow.
Oh my gosh. That's the appropriate gesture. Find the Gwent the Friendship catacombs. Society. Alright, let's go. This is cool. Didn't realize this place had these giant catacombs. Pretty cool. Let me get out my torch for a cinematic effect, you know? Just for that, just for that very reason. Look at all this stuff that I could use. Yellow armor dye. There's a ton of dyes now. You can dye your armor now. That's awesome. Blugna. May they always, may you always draw your best. The right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. This is it. It's huge. Grave robbers, really? Come on. The irony that never gets capitalized in any of these quests is that Geralt kills grave robbers or accuse pe accuses people of killing. Then he proceeds to kill them or steal stuff. Or you can go walk into any person's house and take all their stuff. And because there's no cutscene about it, you don't remember doing that. <laughs> the underlined irony of everything. Maybe the mother was a hamster and that father smells Eugen's of elderberries. Also looking for that Gwent club. I fought in your gender direction. That's what Geralt did. What the hashtag drive-by. Hashtag drive-by. I do that every so time now. Like, I have to let it out. I'm so like, hashtag drive-by. So few <laughs> answers. Blimey. We're a plumbing philosopher. Get the swarmy cat diddler, lads. If I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Well, how long you can make food, man? <laughs> A little bit of a confined area, but we can still make it work. Oh, maybe we can't, maybe we can't, maybe we can't, maybe we can't. Hold on. Hold on, swallow. Getting the can ready. Alright, here we go. Ooh, this is not good. Not a good situation here. Not a good situation to be in. Here we go. Hit me. Hit me with that higher love. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Ooh. Mistake. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Oh, I bet I can push him off from here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Oh, dear God. His body just kind of... Bleh. There we go. I got him. I, I better get an achievement for that. Got him. How long you gonna make me wait? There we go. Woo! And of course, I take all the Gwent stuff. Put him in the wrong right. chamber. Can you do that? Time Marco paid up. Can I put him in the wrong chamber? Dude, I bet that is a thing. This is the type of game where that that that, is, that would be a thing. I wonder. It's too late now, but that'd be kind of funny if we could. Are all the chambers labeled? Like, it's worth checking this place out. It's worth going through here and looting all the... Looting everything you can in here. Let me pull this back out. These catacombs are huge. That said something on the wall. Hold on. Oh, no. It's just extinguished. Very neat. Yeah, Geralt is being a grave robber right now, technically, but it doesn't matter because I'm not, like, taking anything that's not, you know, gonna hurt anybody, harm anybody. Locked. Don't know where that leads. But that might be for a quest later down the line, I feel. Alright, after we wrap this thing up, we're ending the stream. It has, it has definitely been... A uh, very fun stream. But let's go talk to the wife. I honestly, I could play this game for hours and hours. Like, it's just the type of game where it changes what you're doing actively enough that I don't get bored. Like, it goes from cutscene to story to gameplay to exploration to investigation and rinse and repeat, you know? Go to Margo. Alright, let's talk. Done. 
Now where you got those cards? Recreate the dare devil we stairwell fight. The Corpus Gate. <gasps> then we are right. <laughs> Our house is easily Get the chain. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. It would be hilarious. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Dude, that really should have been an option. I bet that entire hallway I ran down. Oh, oh whoa. Who goes there? What's your business at the cemetery? I'm a witcher. Raids haunt your catacombs. Ah, uh, so it's true what old Lanzano said about the racket at the cemetery. I thought it grave robbers, perhaps, but wraiths? Have you? Ah. Uh. Took care of them. This Lanzano, think he might pay me for solving his problem? Oh, that's more than certain. Look for him at the clever clocks. Thanks. So I'm getting paid for lying. Hmm. Alright, so I gotta find that Gwent collection. And I also gotta meet the Lanzano. That was a really neat quest. That is a really neat quest. Look at the sky. Look at all those stars. That's an incredible amount of stars. It's almost too many, you know. It's re that's awesome. What the devil? Why am I not buried with the rest of my Gwent brethren and friendship? And right. Probably not that way. Probably, uh. What's going on here? Well, what the devil is going on here? Ah, what a mincemeat. Yeah, I, I can already give. I would already give this expansion a 10 out of 10. It's fantastic so far. I have not had a single problem with expansion. Maybe like a few glitches here and there, but I mean. They're very small glitches that most people wouldn't encounter, probably. Don't crowd around. That guy, like right there, that guy's sitting. He was, he was sitting on nothing, you know. I like the ambient music. How it's still serious, like it just maintains that ominous tone. All right, we should be getting close to it. Oh gosh, I don't think this leads to where we want to go. Nope, dead end, I think. Can I, uh, can I climb up, though? Probably not. Probably not. Kiss a doll's ass. Kiss a doll's ass. Uh, over here. Alright, we're gonna pick up these Gwent cards and then we end the stream. Rip stream, what? Did it end? Did it end? Hmm. No, it's still going. Still going. It should be at least. I don't know if it's not, then I don't know what to say. Um Completely frozen. Interesting. Nope. Huh. That is weird. I, I I suggest reloading. Well, you probably can't hear me, but still Need to reload. Go around. Need to go around. Tree you know what? Sign. Must be the house. Yeah. Hmm. Medallion's humming. Something's not quite right. It's a trick. All right. Maybe I should have gone with the guy, because he knew his shit about Gwen. I think the woman tricked me. It's been skipping ahead a bit, but no freeze. Weird. Huh. Find a way to the garden. Through here? Can I go in here? Probably up here and then down. I was about to end the stream, because we've been streaming for a while, and I want to get this export to YouTube maybe, but... It looks like there's a catch. It definitely sounds like there's a catch.
Huh. Here's a house. Is there anything of note in this house? I mean, stuff that I...